How's it going, my little Stewies? It is your friend Stewie Friend here, here to bring you another video. And guys, welcome back to WWE 2K22 My GM Mode. Guys, this is a very important episode because tonight marks the like career altering match of JBL. Last video, he annoyed me so badly that I said at the next pay-per-view, he will be facing Jey Uso in a match of his choice with his career on the line. We have a few bookings before that pay-per-view, but we are going to watch that match or play it. I don't know exactly. With that being such a uh, big decision-making part of the, of the show, I'm going to try and stop diddle-daddling. I'm going to stop lollygagging. I'm going to stop stalling, and let's get right into the booking. All right, guys, so this is my booking for this night. So, before JBL actually has his big match against Jey Uso, he is going to be facing Rey Mysterio, which, fun fact, I believe it was JBL versus Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania, what was it, 25? I believe it was WrestleMania 25 for the Intercontinental Championship, where JBL actually quit. And I believe... Now, I'm going to do some research and, you know, editing Stewie. If, if I'm wrong, you know, please, let, uh, please out me. But I believe JBL never fought another match after that night. So anyway, that's that's just a fun fact for, for JBL. Uh, former United States champion, former Intercontinental champion, former WWE champion. So he is a great asset but he is just getting on my nerves. So let's see how he does against Rey Mysterio. We then have a call out, and both Stone Cold and Braun Strowman are kind of hurt, kind of injured, so I'm hoping that, you know, this will kind of rest them a little bit, but it's still good to up their feud. Next, we have a feud match as well. Rhea Ripley versus Lana. Lana got a little bit of a break. She's better now, so we're good. We then have... A role change. We're going to be changing Riddle from a babyface to a heel. And trust me, there is a reason for that. Uh, I'm pretty sure things will be a little bit better once uh, once the pay-per-view rolls around. And then finally, we have Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles. Again, I want this to become a rivalry. This would be a great rivalry. They're going to main event SmackDown. They better do a good job. And you know what? Just to make sure that it actually goes well, I am making this a tables match just so there's no disqualifications. All right, guys. We are going to confirm the booking. We have everything that we need. Let's do this. JBL versus Rey Mysterio in a regular match. Jey Uso is also going to interfere. So that's something to look forward to. Let's see. Simulate... One, two, three! <laughs> JBL actually wins. That is actually quite surprising. I wonder what his win-loss record is <coughs> in this game. <coughs> we then have Stone Cold Steve Austin and Braun Strowman doing the call-out, so let's continue. And up the rivalry to a level two. That's good. We then have Rhea Ripley versus Lana, Champion versus Challenger, Simulate. One, two, Three. Rhea Ripley wins in a good match. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have the roll change for Riddle. It was an excellent roll change. He is now a heel. That's good. And now we have Drew McIntyre versus A. J. Styles in a tables match. Come on. Give me a good ending to this lackluster Show. One, two, three. AJ Styles wins. And it was an okay match, but it gave me a new rivalry. Heck yes! Well, this was not that close. Not really. Come in. Sorry about that, guys, but really, this, uh, this whole thing is, like, kind of all over the place. I am sorry about that. But tonight's show was just not good apparently. This was
kind of a very bad show. The ladies performed really well. I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you, ladies. But how does it beat this? Again, how does any of this beat what I made? It's gotta be rigged. It's gotta be! And we are still losing in the power rankings. This royally sucks. What is this? You're not going to like this, but none of Alexa, Randy, and Bobby Lashley can take part in your show this week. Sorry about that. You've gotta be kidding me! Sammy, I've had enough crap. Working at SmackDown has been a complete joke. Well, you know what? Sayonara, Sammy. You're being a pain in my butt. All right, guys. So this is the final booking before the pay-per-view. We have... Today, we have AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre in a regular match to start the show. Hopefully, that will be good. But then, we have a call-out. We have Braun Strowman calling out Stone Cold Steve Austin, which, by the way, I played a power card, which makes it to where, he, where, where Stone Cold is unable to be booked. But I found an exploit. <laughs> I found an exploit for it, so... Yeah. We then have Bailey versus Asuka, just because of Alexa Bliss can't be used. So let's just book this just as a filler match. I'm not expecting anything out of this match. And then we have Jey Uso versus JBL. I like to consider this the big seller for this pay-per-view, just because of the uh, ruling that I put behind it. JBL, Jey Uso... JBL's career on the line, it sells itself in my opinion. But this is where Jey Uso tells JBL what the match stipulation is going to be. You guys won't know, but JBL will. And then finally we have the main event, the two people that actually showed a great match last booking, Lana and Rhea Ripley, and this time in a tables match for the main event. Ladies, please show up again, please. But before I do anything, I'm going to see what I can do here. Uh, oh, what's this? Block an opposing brand from booking one of their champions in next week's show. Next week's show is the pay-per-view. Yes. Also, special promotion. Ensure that you'll retain most of of your fans this week. Yes, please. Now I know that's not going to be activated. I just bought that. I'll use that for the pay-per-view. But let's confirm the booking and see how we do. So AJ Styles, Drew McIntyre, simulate. One, two, three. Drew McIntyre wins. Mediocre. I gotta put him in some sort of stipulation match for the pay-per-view or something. But it's a level two rivalry now. This is good. Braun Strowman, Stone Cold Steve Austin, level 3 rivalry already. Call out, let's see, right before they feud. Still level 3. I can I can work with that, actually. Bailey versus Asuka. One, two, three! Bailey wins. Mediocre. I had nothing for that. I had no expectations, so I, I don't really care. Jey Uso, JBL. This is all or nothing, JBL. You gotta show something. Let's see. Jey Uso tells JBL what the stipulation is. It was an excellent promo. You guys will find out what the stipulation is later. And Lana versus Rhea. In a tables match, simulate. One, two, three. Lana wins. And it was a good match. Thank you. And actually, we didn't do too bad with the booking. Raw had a better opener, but other than that, everything was either better or on the same level as Raw. I'm actually quite happy about that. Freaking Sami Zayn. 
SmackDown is a joke. Glad to be free. Time to leave all the losers behind. Well, you know what, Sammy? Screw off. I gave you a great match with Stone Cold Steve Austin, and you didn't want to do it. You are a coward. We're still level, we're still level two or, or number two in the rankings. It's all or nothing at this pay-per-view now. All or nothing. SummerSlam. JBL, you shouldn't even be asking me this right now. You shouldn't. Your career is on the line tonight. What's this? AJ Styles, I've put in a lot of work, and I think I've earned a title shot. How about it? You know what, AJ? I, I agree. You do deserve a title shot. I'll see what happens in the next three weeks. How about that? I'm not going to say no. I wouldn't mind seeing you as a champion. All right. So I think we already know what I'm going to book as the main event. Before I show you guys my booking, I'm going to do the power card for special promotion. Ensure that you'll retain most of your fans this week. Confirm. So now I don't have to worry about losing fans. But on top of that, the fans you your show gains will increase by a large amount. Yes, please. So not only will I gain a whole bunch, I get to keep a whole bunch. Hopefully, that will get me up in the rankings a little bit more. Stephanie has so many people watching compared to me. Just look at the graph. Which, by the way, if you guys see this graph on the screen, you guys need to click subscribe. I'm just leaving it there. Why aren't you subscribed yet? Freaking click it! And this is my booking for SummerSlam. We have an Extreme Rules match for the Universal Championship. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Braun Strowman. We then have advertising. We have three advertisements. We have one from Bobby Lashley, one from Rey Mysterio, and one from my all-time favorite, John Cena. Our mid-card matches. It's going to be Bailey versus Alexa Bliss in a normal match. I'm not wanting to injure either one of them. I'm not wanting to ruin anything that I have potentially stirring up in my head. So no special match to make them at all, I don't know how to explain, injured. We then have Rhea Ripley versus Lana in an Extreme Rules match for the Women's Championship. And then lastly, an Extreme Rules match, JBL versus Jey Uso, with JBL's career on the line. Let that sink in. Anything can happen. JBL can be out of a job in just three seconds. One, two, three. His career on SmackDown is over. So without further ado, let's confirm booking. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Braun Strowman for the Universal Championship. Let's see who wins. One, two, three. Stone Cold Steve Austin has won the Universal Championship in an amazing opener match. The rivalry is complete. Stone Cold is free to fight anyone he wants now. This is good. Next, an advertisement from Bobby Lashley. Give me some money. $7,000. Not the best, but I'll take it. Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. Simulate. One, two, three. Alexa Bliss won in a good match. Rivalry complete. Advertising, Rey Mysterio. Good, and it gave me $10,000? Thank you, Rey. Thank you. Women's Championship match. Extreme rules. Come on. One, two, three, Rhea Ripley is still the champion. Classic match. Wow! Wow, they really tear the place down, man. John Cena advertisement. 
Gave me $8,000. Rey Mysterio did better than both Bobby Lashley and John Cena in advertisement. Quite surprising. Now, JBL versus J Uso. I spectate this match. I just want to watch it. I don't want to play it. I don't want to influence on JBL's career. I don't want to influence on what the outcome is at all. So let's just see what happens. All right, JBL, Jey Uso, Extreme Rules, let's go! Extreme Rules match time, no disqualification, no count out, anything goes. Hashtag Extreme Rules if you want to get in on the conversation. Okay, through it. You can tell that okay, Jey Uso is right now giving match, a JBL a little bit of a run a for his money. Because of the uncertainty oh! That extreme Rules match presents. Come on, JBL! Failure after failure after failure. You can't lose this, JBL. On the top rope. Oh, man. JBL's getting his butt kicked right now. Freaking. Come on. Oh, Bulldog. Going for the pin. It's one. Oh. He's nowhere near ready to stop. Okay, yet. JBL. You're showing this still a little bit of signs of light, but you're still down on the mat. Oh, oh man. Jay Uso is kicking his butt. And look, I'm not playing. I am not playing. I am not playing as JBL. I'm not playing as Jay Uso. He finds a counter for Jay. JBL managing to find some much needed breathing room. Could be just what JBL needed to battle back in this one. Okay. Take a good look you at may a want to, I don't know, folks. fight him before you start taunting. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Is this going to be another bulldog? It's going to be another bulldog. Bulldog. Here he goes for the win. Another pin. One, two, long two and a half. one more second. JBL would have been fired. Oh no, is he gonna super kick him? Super kick! Uh oh, look out! Oh! Jay taking his offense to the top row. My god, man, JBL's getting his butt whoop. Oh! Uso splash! Uso splash. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! He's still in! JBL almost lost, but he kicked out. Jay Uso's relentless right now. Jesus Christ! Submission. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here, right now? It oh my gosh. Move. Is he gonna Boy, tap? No. Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Okay, come on, JBL. You're in a no disqualification match. And he Whoa! Oh! Oh, missed it! Underneath the ring. Sledgehammer! He missed it. Total chaos is about to be unleashed. Oh, right on the concrete. Got it. Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. And JBL evades that. Oh! These sledgehammer hits. You can't have too many of those. Exponentially multiplying. Jay has become relentless, but JBL can't allow this burst to hinder him. Measured knee drop. Ah, uh, JBL's not looking good at all. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. Carefully. Oh, God. That kick will stop you in your tracks. A good thing for JBL right now is the match can't end outside the ring. It has to end on the inside of the ring. Coming. Throwing him into the, the ring. ring. And this match will head What's back JBL's to the ring. move here? It's gonna be a suplex? No. Oh, it turned into a German a suplex! By JBL. JBL managing to find some much needed breathing room. Is he gonna grab the JBL needed to battle Okay, he's gonna grab another weapon. What's he gonna grab? A baseball bat! Oh! 
JBL, this is WWE, not a freaking baseball field. Anything JBL does to Jay Uso, Jay Uso comes right back swinging even harder. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. JBL is oh, the okay, now he's bleeding. Yeah, Jay has all the wheels turning now. What's Jay Uso's plan here? What? Why is he on the other side of the ring? It's just letting JBL catch his breath or something? What's going on here? He's into the ring. All right, both of them having the same idea going into the ring. Uh -oh. Oh. Thunder, oh. oh! No way. One, two. Dig it down deep and stay alive. Wow! How in the world? Almost ended there. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? What's he doing? He's steel, a steel chair. chair. Just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Boom! What impact! Headed up, he's thinking big. No way, is he gonna do an Uso splash here? Oh, oh right to the face, the man. Down. He's going for the pin. This could be it. One, two, three. Jay Uso just won. JBL just got fired. kind of a butt kicking yeah that was statement by the victor here tonight what a steamrolling wow jbl legit just lost his job i am legit shocked rivalry is complete there is no more rematches for jbl Let's see how we did in the rankings. No way, dude. One match off of being a perfect beatdown against Raw. What did Raw have as their main event? Look at the difference in the rankings. I am getting up there. Okay, well, there's only one last thing to do. JBL, I gave you a chance. And legit, the only, only win you had was against Rey Mysterio. Like I said, failure after failure after failure. I'm sorry. But, you're fired. And just like that, JBL is no longer a part of SmackDown. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Stay friendly, everybody.